Hello everyone, this is Taylor and uh, this is some Would You Rather and uh, thank you for watching, I hope you guys are going to enjoy and uh, did you hear that? Did you hear that little niggling voice? Can you, shh, shh, Jeffrey, shh! Yep, that's him, that's the Holy Spirit telling you to rate the goddamn video. So uh, take this moment, pay attention, Holy Spirit's telling you he gets pissed and uh, you do not want to, you do not want to cross him when he's drunk. So anyway, so Would You Rather. Uh, let's begin. Would you rather eat Lay's potato chips or eat Pringles? Wow, what a crazy one to start off on. Better, better settle down, get ready for the excitement. But, uh, I'm gonna go for Lay's potato chips because I just like how they're not as, like, thick. And so they're, they're just thinner. You feel like you're getting more flavor per surface area. It's all mathematics, you know, clearly. Um... 41%. I'm in the minority on that one. That's okay. I should be in the minority for something. It's difficult when you're a white guy. Uh, trying to fit in in these minority groups. Would you rather be a cowboy or an Indian? Um, I mean, Indians... Seems like their lifestyle would be more fun. You just live in nature. You have a great time. Just sex constantly. Eating delicious animals. Killing them out in the wild. Making clothes out of buffalo hide. Maybe make some out of the horns carve it into a toy for your son or something i don't know but uh and then cowboy would be fun because i mean you get to be a cowboy but i'm pretty sure in real cowboy life uh you didn't get to talk or act at like john wayne at all and so i'm gonna go with indian 33 percent dueling minority points for me so far would you rather be caught at home watching sex in the city by yourself uh or be caught in a bar with a pink martini in hand um I mean, I'd rather be caught in a bar with a pink martini in hand, because at least then, you're in a bar, and so if someone approaches you about it to make fun of you, you can just play it off. Like, um, <laughs> clearly I like pink martinis, that's why I'm holding one in this public bar. Duh. And then at least you could play it off, and they'd be like, oh, well, wow, at least that guy's really, really confident. He can, he's, he's, he doesn't give, he doesn't give a shit to the extent that he'll stand there in front of everyone and drink that little girly drink. That could, that dude doesn't give a shit, that dude's cool. But if someone walks in on you watching Sex in the City by yourself, it's not even like it'd be embarrassing. It'd just be like, dude, come on. Could really? You doing... God damn it. God damn it. I'd just be disappointed in my friend if I walked, walked in on him watching Sex in the City. Uh, but, I don't know. My mom watches that show all the time. I think it's retarded, though. Uh, those women are just old, promiscuous, self-centered, completely obsessed, vacuous, vapid whores. They're worthless, and one of them is, like, a lesbian by choice or something, or, like, bisexual, and, like, just, I, I don't know. I only watched a couple clips of it trying to research, you know? It was research! Anyway, so Pink Martini. 50 foe! Out of the minority circuit. That's too bad. Uh, would you rather be a character on Lost or be a character on Heroes? Um... This is kind of difficult because I don't really know much about either of those shows. Um, but I do know that Lost revolves around a crazy, ridiculous happenstance situation occurring on an island with a bunch of people. And Heroes, um, you get to be a goddamn hero. So I'm going to go with the solution that ends with me being a superhero. And I don't even know what like the powers of those superheroes are. I think... What does that Asian guy do? Doesn't he just like yell really loud or something? As long as I don't have to be him. Not because he's Asian, because he yells loud, and that'd be a really annoying power to have. I'd like that girl's power, though. Doesn't she have, like, instant regeneration, like Wolverine? That'd be awesome. You could just abuse your body, just do it, just do whatever you wanted, and you'd just be good to go afterward. That'd be sick. Yeah, 75% said heroes. So, apparently 25% of people said, You know what? I would rather be abandoned on an island, almost dying at every turn, than be a superhero. So, that just goes to confirm that old thing we learned on South Park, which is... One quarter of people are retarded. There you go. Would you rather have a beer belly or have three chins? Um, I would rather have a beer belly than have three chins because at least you can hide a beer belly. Like, you can wear some sort of shirt or you can just embrace it, you know? Just embrace the belly. Just be one of those guys that, like, is in pretty good shape aside from the belly and they just kind of look like a gorilla you know what i mean so like there are guys like that who you're like oh yeah that dude definitely has some old man strength or like some 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 major strength there even if he does have that fat gut and so i'd go for the beer belly just because i figure most people are going to say three chins and i want to be in the minority what 83 percent of people would rather have a beer belly than three chins wow 
Well, I I guess I didn't really think that through very much. Did they mean three chins, like three, like layers, like fat chins, like double chin kind of stuff, or did they mean like three distinct chin bones at the bottom of your face? Because both of those are worse. So either way, there you go. Next one. When addressing a person, would you rather begin every sentence with "I'm gonna let you finish" or end every sentence with "in bed"? Um. Well, this is a difficult one. Not because I don't want to do anything that would possibly associate me ever with Kanye West. I just, I just don't like him. I'll, I, I listen to some of his music, and it's good. <clears throat> it's good. Sorry. Uh, it's catchy, like the beats are really good, and it's my understanding that he does those, like that's uh, his niche, like he's really good at that. Um, but he's also a cock munch and an arrogant prick, so I'm going to go with In Bed, just because, I mean, you even if you're an adult, you can still get a cheap laugh every once in a while by ending a sentence with In Bed, you know? Everybody, yeah, to each their own, I say, In Bed, that's great, alright. Oh, forgot to check the stats. Uh, 68% in bed. There we go. That's weird that 32... That'd be so much more awkward, too, because every single sentence I had to say, I would have to start it out with that, I'm gonna let you finish. So even when it didn't make any sense in context, I would have to do that. Whereas with in bed, it's just like, bam, bam, two syllables at the end of every sentence, no big deal. So, yet another reason that I'm objectively right. Would you rather run someone over or be run over? Um, run someone over. Don't even have to think about that. Not even for like half a second. Uh, call me a sociopath, but I would rather run someone over than be run over. Because, I mean, whatever solution there is that does not end in me being run over is the one that I'm going to prefer. But, I mean, uh, I kind of feel bad. Because 45% of people said they'd rather be run over. But those are probably just internet lying douchebags trying to feel better about themselves. So I'm going to still say that I'm right on that one. All right, next. Would you rather open a can of whoop-ass on a fool or pity a fool? Um, I mean, it'd probably be fun to open a can of whoop-ass on a fool, but as far as the amount of effort that's necessary to exert in order to achieve the desired goal, I would rather pity a fool because I can pity a fool from sitting on my couch from like 50 meters away. I can pity. I'm a long-distance pityer. I, I can pity with the best of them, so... Uh, I could probably pity like four or five people in the time it took me to open a can of whoop ass on one. So just for efficiency's sake, I'm going to say pity a fool. Ah, 45% pity a fool. I don't know why I go for this little goal of trying to hit the minority. Um, <laughs> hit the minority, that sounded worse. Uh, would you rather walk around the mall naked or walk around school or workplace naked? Um, man. I'm going to say mall, because school, like, if I were walking around campus naked, I'd have to be outside a lot, and it would be cold and uncomfortable and terrible. But if I'm walking around the mall naked, at least I have the benefit of I'm, I'm constantly indoors, you know? Like, I'm always going to be at a comfortable temperature. Like, I figure if it's already established I'm going to be walking around naked, I may as well be comfortable, you know? I, sue me that I want to be comfortable when I walk around the mall naked. Jesus. Yeah, 83% said the mall. I'm not surprised by that. Because who would want to be like, yeah, I want to, I want to show up to work completely naked? That'd be awful. Wow, how, would, how is this even a question? It just says, would you rather Chinese or Japanese? Would you rather what? Would I rather learn Chinese or learn Japanese? Would I rather uh, engage in coitus with a Chinese woman or a Japanese woman? Would Would I rather eat Japanese food or Chinese food? What What is the question here? You can't just do this to me, man. You, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, I'm gonna say... <clears throat> I'm gonna say... Japanese? 70% of people said Japanese, and 30% said Chinese. That's so weird. You would think it would be about even, because there wasn't even a freaking question. It was just two names of countries, just red and blue. You get to pick one. Like, that wasn't even a question. It's weird that 70% said Japan despite the fact that it wasn't even, like, a pointed issue. That's interesting. Interestante. Is that how you say it in Spanish? I don't even know. Um, would you rather be the first killed in a group or be the last killed in a group? Um, see, I don't think I could be either of those things because I'm white, so I couldn't be the first one to go, and I'm male, so I couldn't be the last one to go because we all know that if you're going to survive in one of these movies... You gotta be, or if you're gonna 100% survive in one of these movies, you have to be a very attractive blonde girl because they're not gonna brutally torment and mangle and just distort, like, 
just like carve this girl's face up if she, she's like a big star super actress like that's in the movie they're not gonna do that they're gonna keep her alive the whole time so um really got off track on that one i'm gonna say be the last killed in the group because why would you not like eh, actually that depends if it was like a like hunting scenario where my group members are getting picked off like one by one by like a sniper i'd rather be the last killed because then it's like you're not dying in a horrible like awful way where it's like they pull you aside and then peel your skin off or something they just like bam you're dead bam you're dead like instantly but if it's like they torture you i think i'd rather be like the first one so i don't have to watch everybody else get tortured so be the last what how 63 percent of people said they'd rather be the first killed in a group how i don't understand how you could say that why would you rather be the first one killed unless like every person on this website is just like going through all these questions and is just like straight up deluding themselves and being like yeah i'm pretty much a hero i would go first and die first in every scenario which i don't know that seems to be a trend on this site a lot of a lot of good samaritans apparently or a lot of liars i don't know it's the internet i'll let you decide um all right so last one and then i'm gonna end the video would you rather live in a penthouse in la or live in a townhouse in london um, I am going to go with penthouse in L.A. just because, I mean, it's a penthouse in L.A., man. And London would be cool, and I've always wanted to go to Europe. I've never been there, and I think that'd be awesome. But I don't think I'd want to live there right away because it'd just be culture shock, probably. Like, it's not that similar, or it's not that different, really, but it'd just be strange to just move there all of a sudden. Whereas the culture in L.A., even though it's crazy different from here in Missouri, um, it'd still be a lot easier to acclimate. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And it's California. I mean... Come on, that's that's a selling point, you know. You gotta you gotta admit that. But um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would be so kind as to rate, that'd be pretty badass. So uh, yeah, talk to you later.